What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is June 21st, it's the official first day of summer. We are well underway in the grow season. Let's get into today's topic. I'm making a video that I, I normally don't make, but uh, I'm, I'm only making it because I have my name indirectly being talked about in a negative light, and I just wanted to correct that and, and set things right. Um, yesterday, a gentleman came into my inbox. His name, uh, he's known as Jimmy Pickles on the uh, pepper growing community. He has a product line. Uh, which from what I hear is top-notch I've heard nothing negative about it um, but he had hit me up yesterday in my inbox saying that there are a couple other members of the pepper growing community that have been bashing him and bullying him um, and if you don't know I am an admin on the uh, pepper growing for beginners page I think myself Kevin Crystal and Chris do a great job at uh, monitoring the page and make sure we, making sure we promote a positive environment for people to learn and for people to ask questions free from judgment. Um, but apparently, uh, Mr. Pickles doesn't doesn't feel the same way. Um, so he hit me up in my inbox and said, uh, Eric Knight and Rich Blood have been bullying him. So, of course, I, I look through the page and I search uh, Rich's and Eric's name Eric's name is backwards, um, and I don't see anything negative, um, at least talked about pickles or anything in general from them to um, on that particular group. I told him, I said, I must have missed it because I don't see anything. And he sent me a screenshot, and pretty much it was Eric sharing a, a link to his YouTube channel. And Eric said, Hey, you know, watch this video. And after you're done watching the video, um, Google something or other. I'm not sure what was going on. So I decided to take a look into it myself. I, I looked into the, the pepper lovers community. I looked at the uh, Hot Pepper Growing Society and a couple of the pepper groups. And I see there's a little bit of history there. Um, but to me, honestly, I don't think it's bashing. I think it's more of a questioning uh, knowledge on, on the topic of pepper growing. And just a disclaimer, I don't claim to be an expert on growing peppers. I don't um, know any of the scientific um, backgrounds of peppers or anything like that. All I know is put a seed into soil, water it, it grows, it produces peppers. You pick the peppers and it dies over the winter time. Um, <clears throat> I can't even tell you the different varieties, capsicum, annuum, kick, uh, capsicum chinense and all that stuff yeah yeah that's cool if you know all that that's cool like uh, more power to you i do this as a hobby um so i'm not that invested in it i have a whole other job like i'm i'm active duty in the military i got a lot of stress going on in my life and i use growing peppers as a way to escape that kind of thing um so jim was just coming at me in the inbox sideways i i, I honestly thought he was drunk um uh, apparently his, his dad passed away last year and, and I told him I'm sorry for your loss I wouldn't know what to do if my dad wasn't here today but and yesterday being Father's Day I can kind of see if he was uh, especially upset yesterday um, but man this guy was just cursing like crazy and I was like man like you're not coming off as professional at all and again I don't know the guy I don't know him personally I never done business with him um, again, his apparently his product is really good. Like he does uh, hot pepper seed isolations, and his peppers grow true to the variety or whatever, which is cool. Like I, I prefer to trade seeds among friends and other pepper growers. But more power to you, man. Like I, I hope you have nothing but success. But if I was a potential customer, I personally would be turned away just because of the way you came at me. Um, and like I. I have somewhat of an influence being an admin on a on a page of 20,000 people. So, I mean, I think coming at me the way you did was kind of wrong. Again, I'm not judging you, but I mean, you, you got, I think you might be your own worst enemy, man. Like, Rich and Eric are extremely knowledgeable. If you guys don't know Rich Blood, he's known as a pepper guru. He has his own YouTube channel and his videos are amazing. The guy travels the world in search of some of the rarest pepper seeds out there and, and and other uh, gardening types of things. Uh, I don't know Eric all too well. Um, I only know Rich through Facebook and 
a couple of interactions we've had um, back and forth. But anyway, those two have not shed anything negative on the pepper growing page. They've been nothing but positive and they help newer growers. They, in, in the military, we have a phrase called breaking it down Barney style. Someone had asked a question one day about how to cross peppers to make a new variety. And Eric kind of brought it, broke it down picture by picture, almost like a slideshow and said, look, this is what you do. This is what part of the flower, it does this. And you have to do this to the, like it, it broke it down to the simplest level. Even I understood it. And I don't claim to be the smartest person in the world. So it was pretty simple. And I, I learned a lot from both of them. So I was kind of caught off guard when Mr. Pickle said that they were bullying him. And even on the other pages, it wasn't really bullying it was more like oh you know you're saying that this is how it's supposed to be done but the science says this this and this you can even google it to verify what i'm saying like I, i'm not gonna waste my time doing that not that i don't care about it and i respect everybody's passion for that kind of thing but um but yeah but pretty much the main reason i'm making this video is in defense of the pepper growing for beginners page if you, if you want to help yourself out delete facebook that's the only thing I can say to you. If these two are getting under your skin so much so that you are forced to make videos like this. Peppers for beginners, garbage group. Fucking garbage. Uh, then I'm sorry, man. You, you got some personal reflection to do. Um, like, I hope, I hope for, I hope for nothing but the best for you, man. But I'm not going to sit here and, and, and have a game of just, you know, trying to talk shit about you, man. Look, your product is good. Keep it that way. Let your product speak for itself. Um, just st stop dragging our pepper group through the through the mud because you couldn't get your way. Ultimately, your message to me was you should kick these guys out because they made me mad. Well, I'm sorry, man. I I I, I got to do what's good for the group, not for the individual. Um, and ultimately, uh, they're extremely beneficial to the group. I'm sorry they're not beneficial to you, and I'm sorry they get under your skin, but. Um, I'm not going to kick them out. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to get back to my regular updates very soon. So uh, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it, do whatever you want. Um, and I hope you all enjoy your summer. Today's the official first day of summer. So uh, have a good day. Happy growing. Hope for nothing but a big harvest for you. Take care.